We feature a battle that is underway down south. This is harvest time for some very valuable crops, cotton among them. And this year, farmers have a real battle on their hands, a menacing weed that seems to have a mind of its own. Steve Osinsami has the story from Marvell, Arkansas. Across the south, it is the super weed. It's the weed that man can no longer kill. I'm afraid it's, it's here to stay for a while. It's called the pigweed. It's native to North America, and for decades, farmers have been able to control it by spraying their fields with herbicides. This past summer, Pace Hinesley and other farmers started noticing the chemicals were no longer working. There's no rhyme or reason how we can control it. The weeds have adapted, and this year they're choking more than a million acres of cotton and soybeans. It can be very, very expensive. In the last three months, Jim Hubbard has spent more than half a million dollars fighting them, and they still won't die. So man versus weed today, who's winning this round? Weed. This is one formidable weed. It grows up to three inches a day, and at its base, it's as thick as a baseball bat. It kills crops and it destroys heavy machinery. It keeps farmers from bringing their combines and cotton pickers oh, like into the fields. It'll stop the combine dead in its tracks. I've worked in agriculture for 30 plus years. I've never seen anything that's gonna have this kind of impact on our agriculture. This plant here could produce how many plants next year? Oh, uh, 200,000. Farmers are on the attack, hiring laborers to walk through their crops and chop the plants down before they spread. Sometimes their tools break. Oh, take a good picture of that one. Damn, that was good, bro. The scientists who created the herbicide blamed their customers, the farmers, for overuse, saying it was only a matter of time before Mother Nature came up with a workaround. They're engineering a solution, but it won't be ready for another seven years. It's somewhere between 2015 and 16. In the meanwhile, farmers will continue to lose their fields to this enemy. And in the coming weeks, some of them may be forced to harvest their crops by hand. Steve Osinsami, ABC News, Marvell, Arkansas.